Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and I have a quick tip for you on what to do when you are just about to finish your piece of loom work and you need another row or two, but you are really running short on thread and you don't want to have to add another one. So if you have a loom needle, which I presume is what you've been working with, and you look at how much space it takes up on your thread. So I just have one more row and I really don't want to add a new thread. So what you can do in this case is you could take off your loom needle and just add a regular beading needle. And you just want to make sure that it is longer than the width of whatever the loom piece is that you're working on. So we're going to string this guy on. We're going to thread him on. Okay, now you see how much more flexibility we have because he's shorter. So now we're going to pick up our beads as normal. I need 15, so that gives me 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now it is trickier to work with, so I wouldn't recommend always using a short needle for loom work, but it's what you can do in a pinch. So we're just going to line up our beads as normal. Go through them and back through them. And now where this really short needle actually comes in handy is now that I'm ready to tie off my thread, I can just go through it and it's super easy to work with because it's short and tie my knots. Whereas if I had that really long loom needle, I would not have enough thread at this point. You see how little thread I actually do have left here. I'm just gonna tie a knot. And since you always wanna tie several knots, we're gonna go back through a couple more beads here. So I do now have just enough thread to tie a couple more knots and finish off my piece. And I was able to get away with completing my loom work with my original thread without having to add new thread just by swapping out for a shorter needle.